Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given one circuit based on the D flip flop. And here, we have been asked to find the average value of the output voltage across this node X. So in this question, this input signal D in is sampled at the every clock using this given circuit. So here we have been given that for the given XOR gate, the logic 1 corresponds to 3.3 volt while the logic 0 corresponds to 0 volt. So here the time period of this clock signal as well as the data signal both are same. But here this data signal is slightly delayed with respect to the clock signal. That means here this data signal is delayed with respect to the clock signal by the delta t time. And here we have been given that this delta t divided by t clock is equal to 0.15. That means this data signal is delayed by the 15% with respect to the clock signal. So at the every clock transition, this data signal can be either 0 or 1. And in this case, the probability of the transition of this data signal is equal to 0.3. So first of all, let us understand what do we mean by that. So if this probability is equal to 100%, it means that after every clock, this data signal will see the transition. On the other end, if this probability is equal to 0, it means that there will be no transition in this data signal. That means if the probability is 0, in that case, this output will remain either completely 0 or 1. And if we see the in-between case, that is the 0.5, it means that we will see the transition in this data signal after the 2 clock periods. So that is the meaning of the probability of the transition. So here, for the simplicity, first of all, let us consider that the probability of the transition is equal to 100%. That means after the each clock duration, this data signal will see the transition. And considering that, let us find the output signal across this XOR gate. So here, we are assuming that initially this data signal is equal to 0. And at every clock duration, it is seeing the transition. So as per the question, this data signal is 15% delayed with respect to the clock signal. So considering this, first of all, let us find the output of the D flip flop. So since it is the positive H ticket flip flop, so it will follow the input signal at the every clock transition. And therefore, this is how the output of the flip flop will look like. So as you can see, at the first clock transition, this data signal D is equal to 0. And therefore, this Q output will remain 0 until the next rising gauge. Now once again at the next rising gauge, this input signal D in is equal to 1. And therefore, this Q output will also become 1. And it will remain in that state until the next rising gauge. Now once again at the next rising gauge, this D in signal is equal to 0. And therefore, this Q output will also become 0. That means this is how the Q output of the flip flop will look like. Now this Q output is XOR with the data signal with the help of the XOR gate. That means if you see the output of the XOR gate, then this is how it will look like. Because as you know, for the XOR gate, whenever both inputs are different, then and then only, its output will become 1. And whenever its both inputs are either 0 or 1, then its output will remain 0. So in this case, its output is equal to 1 when both inputs D in and Q are different. And as you can see, when either both inputs are 0 or 1, then its output is equal to 0. So if you see this signal x, then it is repeating itself after the each clock duration. So here, this time is equal to delta t. And as you know, this delta t is equal to the 15% of the clock duration. That means in this case, during the 85% time of this clock duration, this output signal is remaining in the on state. So for this signal, first of all, let us find the average value. So as you know, this average value of the any signal can be given as 1 by t times integration 0 to t x of t dt. So in this case, its time period is equal to t clock and it is remaining in the on state only for the 85% of the time. That means its on period is equal to 0.85 times t clock and during this time, its output voltage is equal to 3.3 volt. That means its average value is equal to 0.85 times 3.3 volt. And that is equal to 
805 volt so this is the average value of the output signal and this data signal is seeing the transition at the every clock pulse or in other words whenever the probability of the transition is equal to 100% but in this case we have been given that the probability of the data transition is equal to 0.3 that means here we need to multiply this term by the 0.3 and with that if we see the actual average value then that is equal to 0.8415 volt so this 2.805 is the average value of the output voltage when the probability of the transition is equal to 100% and whenever this probability is equal to 0.3 then this is the average value of the output signal on the other end if the probability of the transition is equal to 0.5 then we need to multiply this voltage by the 0.5 but in this case since the probability is equal to 0.3 so we have multiplied this term with the 0.3 and with that this average value is equal to 0.8415 volt so from this we can say that for the given question the average value of the output voltage is equal to 0.8415 volt